Hello, I'm here on Chertsies on this busy, windy Monday afternoon. A lot of buskers about, all to deeper sites on Church Street. Jones once again stands here unopposed, unchallenged. The informed Liverpool Echo, silent regarding interviewing Jones and discussing the cultural transformation our glorious city is undergoing. It has been ignored. The politicians, councillors, MPs, Ian Byrne, my MP for West Derby, Paula Barker, the MP for Wavesy, who I'll be challenging in the forthcoming general election. She's silent. No one wants to talk about the thorny issue of cultural change we see now changing our glorious city. We see it now as I speak. We see it changing our glorious city. Jones has made hundreds and hundreds of videos, literally hundreds. Those I criticise to date are all silent. They can't deal with the phony issue of cultural change. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to address it. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to address the worries and concerns the good people of Liverpool have regarding further cultural change of our glorious city. Because like I've said, once our cities change, like London, Leicester, Birmingham, many other places, there is no change in it back. It's changed for good. Our unique Scouse character, traditions and cultural identity will have gone, never to return. That is just, that cannot happen. That is a frightening scenario. But it's happened to other towns and cities where cultural change went unchallenged and they didn't have a Joe Owens in their corner and the rest is history like I've said before no more Cockney Sparrows fly over London the Cockney is a rare breed yes there's still some there I know but the Cockney is a rare breed do we want this to happen to our glorious city? Well, I believe the vast majority don't want it to happen. I believe they don't want it to happen. I believe that they could have their say. They would oppose further cultural change of our glorious city. But the Liverpool Echo is remaining silent. Liam Thorpe, political editor, he doesn't want to talk about it. Politicians, councillors, MPs, Liam Robinson, leader of the um, Labour group running the Liverpool City Council. He doesn't want to discuss it or talk about it. All about Green Bain and all the rest. All those I criticise. They don't want to talk about it. No one does. They want to try and ignore this worrying trend we see now sweeping across our city, which is cultural change. Our city is changing, ladies and gentlemen. And if this change is not opposed, then we will indeed lose our unique Scouse character, traditions and cultural identity. I know many times I do repeat myself, but I feel I need to, I need to emphasize what is at stake here and what actually is happening. More and more new arrivals with different ways, beliefs, standards, values are pouring into our city and they are changing it. They don't want to assimilate, they want to dominate. The small amount of new arrivals who want to embrace the Scouse fam and become part of something special, you're more than welcome. The majority, I believe, who don't want to embrace the Scouse fam. They want to impose their ways, beliefs, values, standards over ours. They need to relocate. 
to a town or city that can accommodate their needs. Then we close the door. That's what we do. We close the door. No more new arrivals until we catch our breath and decide what we're going to do long term. Because this can't continue indefinitely. Because if it does, we know the end result. London is a typical example of unchecked cultural change and too many new arrivals being allowed to settle in that you know pr once proud capital but they've settled they've brought different wage belief value standards with them that have changed the traditions and culture of the local cockneys who lived in london since TikTok, right their ways belief values have been replaced by different ones ones that don't fit in don't want to fit in can't fit in and they've imposed their ways and like i've said the cockney now is a rare sight in london yes there's still a few there but it's not like it used to be and the same will is happening to our glorious city now we see it happening so that's why it's important we oppose further cultural change of a glorious city because like i've said the onward march of cultural change is happening at a faster pace than even joe owens believed and i get about trust me i get about this is changing faster and faster by the day so it's in all our interest to oppose further cultural change and that's why joe owens will be standing at the forthcoming general election in the constituency of wavery i'll be challenging Paula Barker for that seat. She's a cultural changer. She believes in cultural change. So it's important you share my videos, talk to your friends, family, work colleagues, and explain what is at stake here and what is happening to our city. This is not good. Trust me, this is not good. And that's why we need to oppose it. The only way we're going to oppose this is that election time you've got to vote those out responsible for the onward march of cultural change now sweeping across our glorious city they're not going to oppose it they're not going to stop it they're just going to leave it until our city has gone it's changed gone forever so remember ladies and gentlemen no to cultural change yes to scouse pride shout it out loud scouse and proud okay thank you